Hi guys, so it's X Crazy Nelson. Today I'm here with a different video. As you can see, I'm showing my face, so it's going to be a little bit different. But as you can see from the title, it is a little bit of a serious video for me, and I thought I really should come on camera and talk to you guys about this because it really means a lot to me. But before I get into that, um, I just want to say that I'm going to be doing an introduction video where I'm going to be introducing myself. Um, I know I should have done that before I did this video, but this is really concerning me, and I thought I would do this video. So please stay tuned for the tips that I'm about to tell you because it's very important and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much everyone for watching. So as you can see from the title, I'm going to tell you guys some tips and tricks on how to prevent from getting scammed or from people stealing your items because there's a lot of situations here on YouTube where a lot of people have been getting scammed. Now if you have me on Facebook and if you're in the you know um, YouTube nail groups and things like that, you know there's been a lot of drama going on and everything like that. And I feel like everyone has lost the sight of what actually um, is happening here and that people are getting scammed and I thought I would do some tips and tricks on how to prevent that. Um, I really, really don't want anyone to go, go through that because actually I will put a link down to my video down below in the description bar so you guys can check that out because I actually got scammed and that video has over 50,000 views so it kind of, you know, my message did get out there and I really didn't expect for that video to get that many views. I mean for it to have over 50,000 views, it, it's crazy. It's so crazy and you know, there are some people that post, you know, negative comments and positive comments. I mean, people talked about me, people said mean things. I mean, but I'm a type of person who accepts criticism and it really doesn't bother me as long as my message got out there and, you know, I really wanted people just to be aware. So this is the reason why I'm making this video so you guys, you know, won't have to go through that. So just keep watching for the tips and tricks. So the first thing that you can do if you're swiping with somebody, I recommend is researching who that person is. Now I'm not saying stalk their fa their Facebook page or their channel or their YouTube channel or anything like that. Just research who you're swapping with. It doesn't hurt to click on their channel and just to see who has have they swapped with. You know, it doesn't even hurt to inbox other people about who you're swapping with. Ask them if they're a good person to swap with. Look at different videos, you know, YouTube their name. Like I said, you don't have to stalk them, but it doesn't hurt to research that person. Just, just way you can get a, a, you know, a feel of who you're swapping with and you know how many swaps they've done, if they were good or bad, you know, if they shipped on time, if they were great with with, you know shipping and things like that so you just want to be aware of who you're um, swapping with so another tip that I can give you is communication is key whenever it comes to swapping um, I know whenever I do a swap with somebody I like somebody who's going to inbox me you know within that day or within you know a reasonable time you don't want somebody who's taking forever to inbox you maybe like days or weeks and um <clears throat> excuse me you want to be just aware of that also um if this is your first time swapping again communication is key make sure that you're answering your emails make sure you're inboxing everybody if they have any questions or if you have any questions please tell that person if you're not too sure about their address or if you're not too sure where to ship it to or how to ship it or anything like that because i know when i first started um i didn't know anything about the post office i didn't know how to even go you know and weigh a package or anything and I just asked a lot of questions so don't be afraid to ask questions and remember that communication is everything when it comes to swapping okay so some advice for people out there who it's your first time swapping and you want to swap now I recommend swapping if it's your first time I recommend swapping with somebody who's done many many swaps before um, reason why is because they know what they're doing and they know what to expect. Um, people who really haven't been swapping for too long um, are kind of still new to everything. I know whenever I had got scammed, I believe that was my third swap. So I was just too excited and I let my guard down. And I know swapping can be really, really fun and you get really, really excited and you forget, you know, that there are some people out there who can scam you. So if it's your first time swapping, I recommend doing it with somebody who's done a lot of swaps. Now also, if you are a first time swapper and you're swapping with somebody who's done a lot of swaps, you got to make sure that 
you take the initiative to do everything right make sure you go all out make sure that you're communicating well because you have to gain that person's trust if it's your first time and you're not emailing back you're not shipping your things on time people are not going to trust you and trust me people inbox each other and they say who's not a good person to swap with and you just have to be very careful for that so if it's your first time make sure you go you know out of the box for swapping make sure you're doing everything on time make sure you're communicating really well and gain everyone's trust and within a few swaps you know your name will get out there and you won't have to worry about all that um but for the most part, just be very, very careful and um, don't let your guard down because I know it can be a little bit exciting. Just be careful and just don't let your guard down. If you are um, within the younger age, uh, I recommend that you again make sure that you have your parents permission and if you're afraid to tell your parents, try just talking to them, you know, make sure because I know um, if you're younger, you can't just hop in the car and go to the post office or anything like that. So you're going to have to ask your parents. So if you are younger and you really want to get into this, because really I have no age limit on who I swap with. I just make sure that you ship on time and things like that. But um, again, if you're in the younger generation, I recommend that you just talk to your parents, you know, gain their trust as well uh, because I know it's going to be a little bit iffy for them if you're swapping with a stranger here on YouTube. So just talk to them. Please get your parents permission before you even do any of this and you know just be very very careful and um, older people too. I'm not just trying to um, pick on the younger generation or anything like that. It's just you know it's really hard for if you're like you know 15 16 or whatever and you're trying to get into you know a vehicle and you're gonna go mail out things you know I know you guys have school and everything like that so it's gonna be a little bit harder um so just re remember even if you're um, swapping with another person just be aware of their age you know it doesn't hurt to ask them ask them where they're from and how old they are I mean that's the part of swapping is just communicating like I said So another thing that I have here that is a really important, important point that I want to talk about is money. And, you know, you're probably wondering, is, is swapping expensive? Yes or no? And it's both, actually, um, because when you swap, you can do different types of swaps where you're swapping things from your collection. So you really don't have to spend too much because it's already in your collection. Or you can actually do like a budget swap where you have maybe $20, $30, or even $50 as your budget when it comes to swapping. So it doesn't have to be expensive, but if you're one of those type of people who like to put a budget on there, on your swaps, then it, you know, it all depends on who you're swapping with and what you agree on. So yes, it can be quite expensive, but the only thing that you have to remember, shipping is not free. So you're going to spend money no matter what in every swap, whether it's a glitter swap, uh, you have to buy stamps, of course. So make sure if you're going to do a swap that you have some money in your pocket. If you're on a budget, tell that person um, that you're on a budget. And, you know, I actually had a recent swap. I'm, I don't know if I'll post the video after or before before this. But I told the, you know, the person that wanted to swap me, I said that I was on a budget. Which I was because I have to pay for school. My whole financial aid wasn't working. And that's just a different story. But... I told her that I was on a budget and I couldn't do a swap until December. But recently, of course, I got money in my pocket. So, you know, we, you know, bumped up the uh, swap to an earlier date. And, you know, that's all about communication, you know. So just be very, very careful with that as well. And remember that you're going to need money whenever you're swapping, whether it's for the postage, shipping. You have to um, consider all of those factors whenever you're swapping. So just be very, very aware of that. Okay, so another tip that I have for first time swappers is most of the time people are going to ask for you to ship first. Now, whenever somebody swaps with me, I just make it a rule that you're going to ship first and once I receive it, then I will ship. Also, um, what I wanted to say about that with shipping and everything, tracking is a great way to gain a person's trust. Um, because if you don't pro provide a tracking number with your package, I mean, you really don't know where the package is. And for me, when somebody gives me the tracking number, I feel more 
um, as if I know where my, well, I do know where my, um, package is at, but I know that, you know, you put that much effort into getting me the tracking number. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, but, um, if it's your first time, you know, swapping, getting a tracking number is great. And again, if you don't know how to do any of this and you have no idea what I'm talking about, tracking and all that, just Google it. Google is your best friend and you can Google it. Um, but if it's your first time swapping, somebody's going to probably ask you for you to ship first and, you know, even if you are emailing somebody who's done lots of swap, you know, take that first step and say, hey, you know, I'm willing to, you know, mail you things first and provide you a tracking number. I mean, I, trust me, people will be amazed if you say that because I, I love it when people come to me and they're, you know, already ready to ship first and everything like that. And it really shows me that they put a lot of effort and, you know, it makes me see that, you know, this, you know, this person or whoever you're swapping with is great, you know, and I really enjoy that. So just be aware of that. If, um, also if you've already done a lot of swaps and you keep getting scammed, maybe it's time for you to say, you know, Hey, you know, whoever swaps with you that they ship first. And once you get it, then you will ship off your items. Trust me, it works so much better like that. Um, that way, you know, you can be aware of, you know, what's going on with your swaps and things like that. So that's another tip. So hopefully you guys enjoy that one. All right, so those are all the tips and tricks that I have. And now I know you guys have been seeing me a lot. I know for the first time me coming on camera, you've just been seeing me talk. But I mean, I don't know how else I can present this, you know, information. I couldn't, you know, do pictures or anything like that. But um, I tried my best and I know I didn't cover all the tips that are out there. But for the most part, just if you have any uh, tips or tricks, please comment down below. Um, that way other ladies can see um, what you have to say about this or anything like that. So just comment down below with your ideas and what you do to prevent from being scammed because this is a very serious video and it's coming from my heart because I know what it feels like to be scammed and I've been scammed and it's not a great feeling. You get really down and I spent a lot of money and for it to just go to waste and you know, it's a very terrible, terrible feeling. It's like getting, you know, uh, robbed and you know it's just over the internet with somebody you don't even know so that's just the scary part about it just be aware of everything have your guard up with every single person no matter who it is okay no matter if you are you know swapping with somebody who has a million views just be aware of everything um, so yeah so again check out all links down below my all my videos and everything that I mentioned in this video will be in, down below in the description box all links to my Facebook my Facebook group everything Twitter and all the Instagram will be all down there and thank you so much for watching you guys and I really hope you guys um, take into consideration all the things that I've said because this means a lot to me so thank you so much for watching and until next time bye you guys